made these two wallpapers that I think look really cool. And so I just thought I'd show you guys how I made them. First off, I grabbed a photo of a car from Unsplash and then I sized it and moved it over here to the right. How I liked it and you can see it only goes part of the way here on the canvas so I still got that um, that white square there so what I did was I just duplicated the layer moved it over and then I did some shenanigans I added a layer mask to help blend the ball in better and then I duplicated that and then made this layer zoomed it in so that it only is showing the floor and then I used a layer mask to help blend the floor better so original photo added a layer mask duplicated it to make sure the wall looked good and then fixed up the floor the floor doesn't need to look perfect, and it isn't perfect, but we're going to just bombard this thing with uh, filters and textures and whatnot. So then I went and found a kind of an ice texture, and I scrunched it down so the ice layers are really thin, and I set it to the mode the layer mode to overlay did that increased you know saturation for that threw it on top of the car and I got this nice effect so once I did that I grabbed a I grabbed a smoke image from unsplash as well I actually think it's fire actually now that I think of it and it was orange so I turned it blue using hue and saturation set it again to overlay gives me this really cool effect I grabbed this kind of corroded um, sheet metal steel kind of texture also from Unsplash set the opacity to 65 set the layer mode to overlay and that just adds texture to it. Now, what I did to that is I took it, I desaturated it, and then I used the color temperature tool to make it blue, to make it fit in better. So that's what it looks like. And then I just added a layer mask so it only showed on certain parts of the image and that is how you get the blue um, the blue version of this wallpaper um, so in order to get this orange version what I did really quite simple I took the blue wallpaper used hue and uh, used hue and saturation on it so this tool here I changed up the hue so basically I did this to it I went 137.9 on hue negative 7.9 on whiteness 64 and a half on saturation and that got me this orange so I went that and then I added a layer mask that um, erases the headlight here so that the um, yeah so you can see now it just erases the headlight so that the blue can shine through and I left the headlight loop because I thought it looked cool and because it adds like it 
draw the tension to it. Gives us somewhere to focus our eyes. Just looks good. So that is how I, so uh, yeah, that's all I have.